Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show, where I'm coming at you from Bethesda Sport and Health Club, and I have just watched the best college basketball game of the season, NC State, going into Cameron Indoor Stadium and beating Duke 84-82, to NC State's first road win at Duke since 1995. Just a spectacular game on both sides, which included one spectacular performance in particular. Freshman Diaper Dandy Phenom Dennis Smith Jr., the best point guard in all of college basketball, which is certainly saying something uh, when you consider who else is out there with you know, Lonzo Ball and DeAndre Fox, just to name a couple starters. But Dennis Smith is in a league of his own. He is elite, absolutely elite when it comes to his ability to get into the paint, his explosiveness, which reminds me a lot of Derrick Rose before he tore his ACL, his passing, his vision, that uh, way he dribbled out of the double team to make that incredible assist, which I'm sure you will see all over Sports Center, plus the up and under, the way he splits double teams and breaks defenses down single-handedly is a sight to behold. And of course, everyone's going to be talking about the way NC State capped it off. Dennis Smith Jr. picking the pocket of Duke's best freshman, in my opinion, Jason Tatum. Tatum trying to play hero ball, ended up being the GOAT. And uh, Smith made that steal, threw down that exclamation dunk after the buzzer had sounded, but the damage had been done. NC State getting their signature tournament win necessary, which was crucial considering they came into this game with a 13-7 record. And really a, a major shot turning point in this game came from uh, you know Maverick Rowan, that huge three that gave him breathing space. Of course, you know Abu uh, had 19 points of his own. NC State got some key performances there as well. You know uh, Luke Kennard on Duke played another quietly brilliant game. His hair may be receding, but that jump shot certainly is not. And uh, you know when he went up and scored that and one on the way down, about halfway through the second half, that was an NBA play. Uh, right there. So Luke Kennard had a great game. I liked what I saw from Tatum uh, up until the ending. I mean, that was a really, really uh, t bitter, bitter pill to swallow. I mean, my goodness, to, to lose a game like that. But it was so highly contested. Duke led for most of the game. NC State didn't have a two-possession lead until uh, under two minutes remaining. So, you know, amazing resolve from the Wolfpack to go on the road and win like they did. And, you know, Dennis Smith... Uh, Junior is going to get uh, all the plaudits, and rightfully so. Just a one-of-a-kind player. He is an NBA franchise point guard, future all-star. I can't say uh, these types of declarations about any other player in college basketball as confidently as I can about Dennis Smith Jr. You know, I just saw that he was a spectacular talent for the first time when he put up that uh, triple-double against Virginia Tech, but he is no fluke, no jo joke. And you just got to love watching him play because of the way he approaches the game, not just because of his talent. So NC State is going to be an extremely difficult team come March. Meanwhile, Duke, things keep unraveling. Another loss. Hard to believe that uh, Duke has suffered uh, this many losses, you know, five losses, I believe, uh, already this season. So final score, NC State 84, Duke 82. I hope you enjoyed that game as much as I did. And thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel.